look, it's it's a punk zin. You have to understand it that way. It will go in every direction, it's breaking all the rules. It's also extremely poetic. There are jokes everywhere. She's playing with language at every level. It's a treasure trove of beautiful asterisks and ornamented arrows and tiny little clippings. You see text that have two types of lines and every other line can be read as one article. There are academic texts that appear to be very serious, but then the lines continue beyond the gutter and start making their own poems. There's no wrong way to hold an irregular bulletin. And if you think you're holding it the right way, you'll have to shift. It's not talking about how to teach. It's giving you that jolt that teaching should be giving you. It's kind of how I imagine how Mag must have been teaching, by proving that things that are not meant to go together can create radically new meaning when they are put together. I think probably one of the first things I, I said was, yeah, it's just like Maggie, you know putting it all together and calling it irregular because she didn't want to be constricted to a schedule. <laughs> she grew up in, his, in an irregular life and she loved the community because they were her family. Magda Mary was an incredible teacher. I guess I was mainly in awe of her. She was strict, but extremely kind, with a terrific sense of humor. I learned a lot about observation, being challenged, and yet getting something done. But she was incredible at creating new ideas, new meaning out of what could be read and found. One of the very clear goals of her pedagogy is to create innovators. There's something incredible about the fact that she was a revered teacher, but the gold in her teaching didn't come necessarily out of what she could produce. It came out of her certitude that everybody had potential. I have been admiring the work of Corita Kent for a long time. It's very um, touching when you realize that that work came from some place too. That Corita had been intellectually and artistically nourished by other women. These documents are telling that story. So I think when people are gonna look at the irregular bulletin, they will feel called, you know, to the more lively part of their imagination. There's kind of this certitude in this bulletin that you, the audience, is the most important part. It doesn't function without you. You're the center of the next project, whoever you are. It's an ignition.